What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show a few items in my emergency kit that I keep around in my bug out bag or that I take with me when I travel. Now I don't take everything but it depends on what I'm doing. And the reason I'm showing this is just because with the recent debate you never know what's going to happen and keeping your emergency kit up to date and checked is always a good thing to do. But before then, I'm going to show you guys a trade that I did with Vulcan5678. I traded one of my 100 gram cubes for this little piece, which is a custom art piece that I originally thought was going to be a gator bar, but was surprised when I opened the package and saw this nice art bar. He had sent a description about it with this note. So you can take a moment and read the note and the inspiration behind the art piece or the art bar. And needless to say, I love the bar. I love the design. Thank you very much. Please take a moment and check out his channel below. He makes some great custom art pieces. Most of them all have an organic feel to them that are made with wood or hay or different organic materials. So it's every piece is unique and finished perfectly he makes the silver saver bars so if you have a moment go ahead and click on that link below and check out his channel he has some great videos on how he makes the art bars and it's very entertaining to watch he should really have more subscribers so bringing out the rest of the ikeo bars i'm now adding ikeo 5 to the mix so here they are in all their glory here's ikeo 1 the first one that i got from hi-ho silver now, I had originally had this one at 5.5 troy ounces because I just love the bar. And then after that, I decided to drop it down to 100 grams only because the price went up and uh, 100 grams is a nice weight. The second one is by Mr. Zeke. You can see this one's just slightly over at 102. Uh, number three, Ikeo 3 is from Silver Hair Gamma with these awesome pore lines. See, SHG, 100 grams, Ikeo 3 on the side. Uh, number four was done by Luz and Louie, this nice frost, frosted finish, or satin, 100 grams with the uh, wealth symbol on it. And number five, with, made by Vulcan. So it's a pleasure to add these pieces into my collection, and then I'm hoping to have a few more made. I'm, so overall, I'm definitely glad to add this to the collection. I love it. It fits in great. And moving on to the next one. I don't have too many things to unbox because I'm saving up some cash. I don't have a lot of extra money this month. And it's okay. So I'm spacing out my purchases a little bit. I did make a purchase for MamaNet1 because... Uh, She's a little bit nervous about the election and the price of the dollar or the strength of the dollar. Luckily, I just got a 10% coupon for eBay bucks and was able to use that for Mama Net One's purchase. So keep an eye on that in the future. Moving on to the preparedness section of this video, here are a few items that I usually have around me almost at all times when I'm traveling or in my bug out bag. And when there's an emergency, there are a few certain things that you're going to need. Like in this case, it's communications. When things break down, it's good to be able to communicate with your neighbors who might have two-way radio or if cell phones are down. And so you have cell phone and a little walkie-talkie. Uh, lighting, so different lighting options. I have some lint here, some dryer lint and a Zippo. A Zippo is a magic device. I love the Zippo. It's all purpose and can be used for several things, windproof, and you can take it apart and use the flint or the cotton depending on whatever you need it for. This emergency solar light is inflatable and waterproof. So it's very useful and it's lightweight because it can be used for multiple things at night for camping or going outside or and uh, it has a rechargeable battery. When it's not in use, it's def you can deflate it and it doesn't take up a lot of space or weight. Perfect for a bug out bag and it's not too uh, expensive. They have a smaller version at 
$12.95 or $11.95 for $12 on Amazon. Uh, as mentioned, I like to have dryer lint and a Zippo. Uh, the Zippo is all purpose. This one, I don't have the fluid in there, but you can use the flint. You can use the cotton underneath as tinder, just in case. Some of you prepper guys know that uh, trying to light a fire, you, any little advantage can help. And even a big lighter in your emergency pack is good enough. Because we're not talking about survival, we're just talking about some temporary relief. And in this case, a Zippo for me is enough. Although I have nicer watches, I normally wear this one daily because it's an ABC watch, altimeter, barometer, compass. It also has a temperature monitor and GPS on it. So this allows me to set mark points or waypoints so I can track back where I need to go and uh, also gets me the direction, uh, lets me find my bearings. So as long as I generally know my geography, then I can sort of navigate. In addition, I can upload my coordinates via cellular hotspot without using a lot of power and a lot of connectivity if cellular is available. And from there, they can track which direction I'm going if people are looking for me on the Garmin website who know that I'm missing. Just one of those things. I also have a multi-tool. It's a knife with, uh, it's a Kershaw that has several different bits on it comes in handy for a bunch of little things, odds and ends, and my favorite unboxing knife. In an emergency situation, water is one of the most important things that people can and do run out of. I was in a situation where there was a massive flood and no access to clean water. People were hoarding water and it became almost impossible to find clean water. There was a flood and regular tap water became contaminated with raw sewage and from there I got into a position where I couldn't find water and literally had to walk around the city for two hours until I actually found someone who was selling water at a jacked up price. I'm telling you, after that happens to you in a third world country, when you get back, you make sure that that never happens again. And once I got back, this is the first thing that I bought, which was a Kitadine pocket filter which has an impregnated ceramic filter that's good for up to 13,000 gallons and this little bad boy goes with me whenever I travel I don't care where it is I bring it with me just because I'm super paranoid so before I got into stacking silver I was somewhat of a prepper also when I travel to make sure I don't need to use this is right when I get to a certain place I buy gallons of water and then store it in my hotel room or wherever I'm at now this Katadyne is not cheap. It comes in at roughly 265, but it's been 265 for years and will last a lifetime if you take care of it properly and don't break the ceramic. Otherwise, this is one of the few devices that it's built to last and never depreciates. In fact, silver has depreciated more than this device. And always having access to clean water is priceless. This is the Cadillac of portable water filters. It's a little bit heavier at 24 ounces, but it's worth its weight and is good for families. So let me know what you think about these prepper videos. Would you like to see some demonstrations of these tools? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like, please comment, like, and subscribe. Or if you hate it, thumbs down. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.